What's up, nerds and gamers from all walks of life? Just in case you didn't know, my name's Justin, and welcome to my channel, Just In Case Gaming. Today, we have a very fiery and windy review on our hands. We have the Pathfinder Maze of Death Premium Miniatures, the Fire and Air Lord Elementals, sure to cause a lot of mischief in your next campaign. But before we get into it, some special news. This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. And with the Perfect Package 3.0, you're gonna get everything you see here to be a manscaping genius. The Lawnmower 3.0 features LED lights, 7,000 RPM motor, and it is cordless and rechargeable. And one of my favorite features it is waterproof and it has that skin safe technology so you're not gonna cut yourself. And when you go on manscaped.com and use my promo code, just in case 20, you are gonna get 20% off at checkout. And as a subscriber to Manscaped, you're gonna get 20% off savings of your order instantly. A new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower 3.0 delivered to your door every three months and for a limited time subscribers get not one but two free gifts the shed travel bag and the manscaped boxer briefs and it comes with ball deodorant guys who doesn't need that check it out so head on over to manscaped.com and use my promo code just in case 20 links are in the description below to get 20 percent off of your order at checkout and you get free shipping on top of that and without further ado, let's go see what the fire and wind elemental lords have in store for us. Hey gamers, and welcome back to the whiteboard. Yes, um, a lot of people seem to really like this uh, new setup, and I'm glad it did not cost that much to do. And today, <laughs> we have a really neat review of some Really cool miniatures, uh, nothing like I've done on the channel yet. These are elementals. These are actually a part of the um, Pathfinders uh, line, the Maze of Death set. These were the premium figures from that set. And they are huge in size. And they look really, really cool. I love this fire elemental. Let's start with her looking very Loki-like. And we do have some fire, uh, really nice translucent plastic, uh, big flames that are coming up the sides. And I love the claws. If you take a look right there, if my camera would focus. Nice sharp claws. And she has what I can only assume to be um, either just hotter fire, uh, eyes, or maybe it's part of a cr the, the, the crown. I'm not too sure what those red uh, paint details on her face are supposed to be. But I love the horns, makes her look very devilish, like um, she just came out of the Nine Hells. Maybe um, a wizard just summoned her, or maybe this is the... Um, the absolute Lord of Flames. She is the embodiment of fire, and she could be a nice villain in the campaign. Maybe she could be an ally. One of your player characters may find a scroll that will allow them to summon her. Um, and the translucent plastic is really nice. I love the shine that you're able to get from it. There's uh, a couple more I wanted to point this out. There's some yellow highlighting that's going along the flames here, but it's really not picking up that well on my camera for some strange reason. Probably just bad lighting. I'm trying to improve that. Let me know if you guys can think of any other way to do that in the comment section. But you can kind of see the, the yellow paint details the dry brushing that has gone into it. And then the translucent plastic is showing up more as a, a brighter orange, but it's very much in real life, just um, a regular translucent orange that you would find on a typical miniature. It's not too flashy or anything like that. It looks really nice. 
And the second miniature that came in that um, premium figure set, it was both of these, and this was the second one, and this is the Air Elemental Lord. And boy, is it a Lord of Air Elementals. This thing is huge. It is very heavy. If you were to throw this, um, it, it would cause some damage. It's pretty hefty. I really like the face sculpt on this mini. Looks very mad, very evil. Reminds me kind of of the tornado in Hercules. I don't know if you all have seen that. I'm sure that you have that uh, classic Disney movie where the big tornado elemental came out. This is what that guy reminds me of. And um, I don't know if it was supposed to be like this, but there's this one spot where the mouth is and it doesn't have that black um, paint in there. And I'm thinking about just doing that myself because I don't know, it kind of just looks incomplete because that's supposed to be part of the mouth right there. And maybe that was just missed on my mini. Um, but there's a lot of nice dry brushing that's going along the uh, plastic. A lot of whites and grays, uh, if you can see the, the grays, like right here and up here. It shows more black on camera, but it is gray. Um, I love all of the different curves and the swoops of the wind. It really makes it feel alive and like it's moving. And I love the bottom of the base here. Take a look at that. All of the dust and dirt and everything that's being brought up from the earth is just all swirling around him. And that looks really cool, especially in person. It has this almost purple-like um, quality to it, but it's uh, more of a, a black translucent plastic. Uh, almost looks like a purplish gray in person. And I love these like ripples up here, like these bubbles of air that kind of come up and form like a backside of him. It's really nice. And then he has these Popeye uh, arms right here. <laughs> he has been definitely eating his spinach. His forearms are massive. Uh, they have some really uh, interesting details in the hands there. You can not really make it out on camera, but it has that same musculature as a normal hand, but done with air. Really weird to say that, but nice job. This has to be uh, one of my favorite um, elemental miniatures uh, that I have in my collection, just because it is, it's such a, big one, but also it's just extremely well done. And here's the both of them on camera again. That, again, that nice translucent plastic on the both of them. They fit well in scale together and they do fit well uh, with the other Pathfinder Elemental Lords uh, miniatures that they released um, with the, <coughs> excuse me, Kingmaker set. Um, I will be reviewing those. I do have those, and that will be my next video, is uh, showing off the uh, rock and the water elementals, the elemental lords. They fit well in scale with those. Now let's do some size comparisons. So here are the elemental lords with a medium miniature. There's the human paladin from the Mythic Odysseys of Theros set. Check out that review if you haven't, it's on my channel. I unboxed two boxes of those. Next up, let's do a large mini. There's a shambling mound. And I believe this is from the Rise of um, Eberron, or the Eberron Rising, or whatever that's called. Correct me in the comments if you know the name of that set but that is them in scale with kind of a plant elemental almost <laughs> next up we have there's the doom wake giant from the mythic odysseys of theros line 
There's it in scale with the Elemental Lords. And next up, we have the red, the adult red dragon from the Pathfinders line. This is the adult red dragon from the City of Lost Omens premium figure set. Fit well in scale. Next up, just because I love this miniature so much and do not throw any shade in the comments whatsoever because I will probably show it off when I do size comparison time. <laughs> it's just so pretty. It's the, uh, this is the adult white dragon from the D&D Icons of the Realms line. And it is towering over those elemental lords, but they really look like he's gonna take his breath away and she will melt him down into oblivion. So that was uh, a quick take on the Pathfinders Maze of Death premium miniatures set. The uh, Fire Lord Elemental and the Air Elemental Lord. And let's take a look at these two guys on some D&D &D terrain. So as for my final thoughts on these miniatures, I think they have really nice sculpts and for the translucent plastic that they are and you know, their elementals, I think the paint applications are done really well. Um, I think that the wind elemental, that one little spot on his mouth, I think that I can fix that up and that's an easy fix, but they fit really well in scale with all the other minis as you can see here. And they're pretty threatening. There's not a lot of huge elemental minis that are out there. So these are really nice to have in your collection. And of course there are the other two um, elemental Lord uh, miniatures that Pathfinder did that we'll be taking a look at soon on the channel. But yeah, these guys should be some really nice either friends of your adventuring party or their enemies. And I think for the value, I mean, 60 bucks, you get two really big figures and uh, they could be used in so many different situations. I think it's a good bang for your buck. I say pick them up if you can find them. They are kind of hard to find, so you may have to look around, but enjoy these guys. So gamers, that wraps up another review. My take on the WizKids Maze of Death Premium figures, the Fire Lord and the Air Lord Elementals. Two creatures that are sure to cause a whole lot of pain in your next campaign. I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped, for sponsoring our video, and I wanted to thank each and every single one of you for giving me your time today. Leave a like down below, comment in the comment section, let me know which was your favorite character and what do you want to see me do next on this channel. And hey, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and become part of the Just In Case Gaming family. I wanted to thank you all and hey, be safe out there, be nerdy, and I'll see you in the next video.